The Bravo personality will be hosting his annual live show on CNN with Anderson Cooper, 56, to ring in 2024. Just hours before he was set to host, Andy, 55, shared what he was drinking on New Year's Eve during a promotional video on Instagram. The Real Housewives producer said, Getting ready for my post Times Square New Year's plans, and you know what, I need my Fresca mix. This is coming with me to the party. He continued to rave about the alcohol-infused vodka product, and then added, You know what, this makes a great date to any New Year's party, I'll tell you that much and I can attest to that cause I'm flying solo. Two years ago, CNN revealed that during the 2022-2023 celebration, alcohol would be banned from the show due to some comments that Andy said. When discussing politics back in 2021, he brutally shaded the former New York City mayor Bill de Blasio. The Bravo Liberty said, The only thing that Democrats and Republicans can agree on is what a horrible mayor he has been. Later on, Andy took a verbal shot at Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve host Ryan Seacrest, 49. He said, There's a bunch of smoke coming from Ryan Seacrest's group of losers that are performing behind us. If you've been watching ABC tonight, you've seen nothing, I'm sorry. In the days passing, Andy apologized for his comment towards Ryan saying on his podcast, The only thing that I regret saying, the only thing, is that I slammed the ABC broadcast. I really like Ryan Seacrest, and he's a great guy. I really regret saying that, and I was just stupid and drunk and feeling it. Bring booze back. While attending this year's BravoCon in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Watch What Happens Live host was asked if he would be able to drink once again. In an interview with E! News, Andy revealed if CNN reversed the ban. Hopefully I will not be sneaking it, he said. I haven't heard anything yet. But come on, they need to let us drink. It's New Year's Eve. That didn't go well last year in terms of viewer happiness about us drinking. People really cared and I hope CNN gives the people what they want. Give the daddies some juice. Last year was a FLOP. Andy isn't the only person who was begging for alcohol to be served during the broadcast. Pop culture commentator Ryan Bailey asked the question everyone was wanting the answer to. In his post, he said, Will Andy Cohen be able to drink on New Year's Eve is the new, if the groundhog doesn't see his shadow, will have six more weeks of winter. In his caption, he said, One of life's eternal yearly questions, then tied CNN. Fans were quick to comment on their disappointment from last year's sober broadcast. One commented, Last year was such a flop, he knows Paul will watch something else if he announces they can't drink. I miss drunken Andy slash Anderson. I've thought about this more than I want to admit. Praying it's a yes, admitted a second. A third said, Let Andy do whatever he wants. He is a treasure. A fourth exclaimed, Daddy's deserve v boozy. I only want tipsy Andy, revealed another. Luvi it. However, fans were delighted when CNN allowed Anderson and Andy to take a shot at the top of every hour. One viewer wrote, Andy Y. Kyo He In and Andy Your Son C O P E R are in F A T C drinking again on air this year. Let's go O O. CNN is allowing Andy Your Son C O P E R and Andy Y. Kyo He In drink on N Y E I V wrote a second. A third said, Nothing says Happy New Year Eve watching Andy Cohen give Anderson Cooper tequila shot at 8.5 Eastern Standard Time. Love it. If I can't watch Andy Cohen and Anderson Cooper get absolutely obliterated, I'm not interested, a fourth revealed.